All right, back to the factor market stuff here. So we talked about how to calculate all this out. That's wonderful. If you notice here, uh, the MRP declines as the quantity of our workers uh, increases here. So they got to have this inverse relationship going on here. Uh, and so these guys actually create, this right here is actually the demand for your balloon makers uh, or your uh, whatever your input is. It could be a machine or, or again, a piece of property. So this is your demand curve uh, in, the, in the factor market. Now, the thing is, this depends on two things. The marginal physical product of each worker, how much they individually can produce, or the price of, in this case, the balloons. And if either of these two things changes, it's going to change the demand that we have for our workers. So what I did is, and this is one that kind of gets kids a little tricked up here, uh, this price, how do we determine the price of any, any good or service? Simply supply and demand. If you look over here, I've drawn the balloon market. Notice that this is not the factor market. Uh, this is in the product market. This is households being buyers. So if you look, right now I have the price of balloons at $2. And this is how I determined it in this market. Now, let's suppose for whatever reason uh, we find out that balloons, I don't know, cure all, all ailments, cure cancer, whatever whatever thing you want them to do. Uh, and so the demand for them goes up. Notice what happens to your price now. Let's say it's three bucks. So now your balloon price is no longer three dollars. And so instead of multiplying by two, each one of these has gone up in value. So your marginal revenue product has increased as well, which means what's going to happen to your decision to hire here? You're probably going to hire more people uh, because their value has increased uh, because of the price of the product increasing. So I hope this helps you a little bit with this kind of unique idea. Uh, if you have any questions, as usual, let me know.